Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of MC Adventure City's Modded Let's Play series. I'm cooking up some iron, a lot of it, because I'll need a lot of it. And for this, I'll need to make... You, I spoil it. Shit. Um, I'll need to make these things, because I'm going to get a more advanced ore doubling set up. These things are from Extra Utilities, they're called Survivalist Generators. I'm gonna need to go grab some. Oh crap, out. let me sleep. It's night. I'm recording! As you can see, I was cooking up the iron that I'll need for this. Let me just look at the sag mill, which is the next thing I'm gonna make. It's from Ender.io. A nifty little mod. We also need three flint. Machine. Basic capacitor, which is just copper with two redstone and four gold nuggets. So I'll go ahead and get some of the things that we need ready. Like, um, yeah, first I'll have to go grab some gold, unless I already have some. I doubt it. Nope, I do not have gold. So there's no zombies and creepers out here. Especially no telecreepers right now. I don't want any of that. I don't want none of that. Let me um, head down to the cave. For, for the first time since I've taken it off. Of I'm recording! Sorry about that, everyone. That was so embarrassing. I'm going, um... I know I saw some gold somewhere. It wasn't down there, though. Is it over here? I could swear I saw some gold somewhere. Here's Lapis. Peridot from Biomes of Plenty, which can be substituted for Project Red, which is kind of overpowered. Yeah. Because it's in the Ore Dictionary. That stuff shouldn't be in the Ore Dictionary because it's overpowered. Oh crap, I haven't lit up this area yet. Crap. Damn it. Let's head back. Well, Fed's going away pretty quickly. It's quite sad, actually. It's an awesome status effect that uh, there's the hunger overhaul well fed and there's the agriculture well fed. And as you can see, I got that's where I got the factorization manual. If you want the seed to this world, I'll give it to you. Like, you probably saw it in the first episode, but yeah. I'm recording! Sorry about that, everyone. This is the worst episode of my life. <laughs> the door stay closed. So I'm going to be heading upstairs. Or no, I won't be heading upstairs. I'll, I'll be finding some gold soon, hopefully. Like, here's a, a way where I find, potentially find, uh, some gold. If I can lay it at the place without dying. I may have to switch on to peaceful. Oh, and under many. Crap. Those things are dangerous. The Ender Minis are from Ender.io. <laughs> Crap. Oh shit. Lag. 
lagging, lagging, mob lag. Skeletons everywhere. Lag, mob lag, shit. had to do that. Sorry everyone who who um, is probably have a lot of people mad at me for that now. All I want is some gold. Why can't I find any of that stuff? I, I swear I saw some. Do I dare dig to the left? Oh my god. We have found diamonds. Repeat, we have found diamonds. And this was the area where the Enderman was, I believe. I think this is an area that links to the main cave. I mean, the primary cave. Nope. I thought it was, but no. You thought it was. Anyways. But how am I going to get to those diamonds? It's the that is the question. That was scary, I almost did fall in the lava. I'll leave one block of lava. Here we are. Here's what I was really looking for. That's what I came this is what I came down here for. Oh, this was an area that that was linked to the main part of the cave. You tricky little thing. Tricky little lava you I should have blocked you off when I had the chance. How can I get flint easily? Can I put it in the grindstone? Flint. Oh, you... Oh my god, you can do it in the grindstone. That's helpful. So I don't have to just sit there aimlessly grinding. If I had known there were diamonds in that cave, I would have gone down there earlier. Really. That was... That's a mistake. A huge one. At that. from chisel. Marble from chisel. <laughs> I may also want to make an igneous extruder in addition to a pulverizer. 
or not a pulverizer, a sag mail. I think, I'm thinking I'm going to use thermal expansion, but no, I'm not. Almost a level 30. I'm going to have to find a way to store XP soon. Because I'll probably die. Because, like, once I take it off, it's peaceful. Because. So, yeah. So it was right here, I believe. Let's stack up. Probably nighttime with my luck. Certainly is sunset. Smelt one ingot of the gold, and then we'll sleep through the night, sleep the night away. We'll also smelt a copper ingot. One copper ingot, like before. Because I only need one. Here we go. Yes, I am still recording. Okay. Make some gold nuggets. Let's grab the rest of my redstone because I can. I know I have another stack in. Uh, no, I don't. What the hell happened to my other stack of redstone that I had? Oh, crap. Did I die with it? No, I haven't died at all. Let's make this basic capacitor thingy. We can do an, a more efficient ore double thing. We just need to do one last operation with this old grindstone, which is grind this gravel into flint. Oh, I had copper in here, apparently. Let's just grab... We'll, um, get a bunch of flint, or get three flint, because that's all we really need. And we'll make our ore doubling thing. Our sag mill, I mean, not ore doubling thing. It's almost done. I don't want that crank to break. For dust from IC2, I'll toss toss this out because I don't really need it at, at the moment. But I will. What I will do is I'll make the machine chest thing. Machine. Here we are. I'll need some iron bars. Now we just need four more iron. Figures. I may have to chop down one of my food source trees. This isn't a food source tree. Let me chop it down. Except for the fact that we do have chestnuts from Harvest Craft. Chestnuts. Poor chestnuts. Let me 
you just make a bunch more planks. Get four more iron ingots. So that's what I'll need. Why do I always do that? Okay, I have 25 iron ingots left. Okay, let me just toss out the iron bars. We're almost there. Sag mills just need five iron. Damn. I tossed the iron out. Damn! I'm surprised that we didn't have like a stack and a half of redstone. I thought we did. I could swear we had a stack and a half of redstone. It all just disappeared. I don't know what, what I might have used it for. I'm going to need that stack and a half of redstone. Or a quarter stack of redstone. <laughs> quarter stack. Piston out, and we don't need five pistons. Let's just get rid of all of this. I'm glad I didn't shift click that because then I would have wasted iron. And now I can make this thing. Why can't I make it? Oh, I forgot. Did I toss the machine frame out? Did I? I believe so. That's probably what, yeah. Yep, I knew it. Yep, birds. I tossed the machine frame out. Here we are. Our first efficient or doubler machine. So what this does, you place it down and you place these things down and you toss coal in them and you know. You toss coal in these things and they'll generate five redstone flux per tick. Always active configure IO. Which we can output it to a chest, which is what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll create a new chest. Configure IO. Push and pull. Here we go. The side is that push and pull, which is what I want. I just toss items in the chest. And when it's done, they'll get spit back out into the chest. Yeah, that won't work really well. I just want it to pull, pull, push. Here we go. We have a working survivalist generator. Yeah, let's. Oh, uh, we're out of coal pretty much. We only have six coal left. Toss uh, three in this survivalist generator. See how much. But it lasts for like 15 minutes per second. Or 14 minutes per second. Per uh, piece of coal. So I can toss. I'll take one out. And I'll take one out of here. So I have a couple extra pieces of coal in case I need them. I don't need to do some more coal mining later on. So the diamonds out as well. We'll be able to get obsidian now so we can enter the nether. It's going to be so awesome. 
very small amount of RF, as you can see. And very slowly burning through that coal. It's only doing like 5th max, it's inputting at 20 RF per tick. So that means per second it's doing inputting like 100 to 200 RF. Yeah. Or 200 to four, 200 or 400, something like that. Here we have it, our first ore doubling system that's actually that actually works efficiently. And you can put a capacitor in there like later. But we'll we'll need an alloy smelter to get alloys from Ender.io, which as well as alloys from thermal expansion, which we can do alloys from thermal expansion pretty easily. powder. Th that's what it's called from Ender I the the um, let me look up iron powder. Sagmel. It's not like a recipe list for the sag mill, or not the sag mill. There's not like a recipe list for the sag mill, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably start tossing my overflowing supply of ores in here, starting with my copper, because I have the least amount of it. I have very little copper. turn the volume up, you can see it has machine noises on it. If you listen very closely, it does have machine noises. Let's check it's going in there, that's good. Excuse me. We have a working uh, ore doubling system now. That'll be the end of this part. I know we didn't do much, but at least we got our very first machine and power generators right here. I'll do some coal mining off camera, grab some more coal, and I will see you next time, everyone. Bye!